Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Hayden Adams. And in this tutorial, I wanna talk about how to create a sticky footer. Now I'm using the Gatsby default starter. And what I wanna do is I wanna put this copyright 2020, not up top, but I wanna put it so it's at the very, very bottom of the screen. So if my content doesn't fill the actual page, the footer still sits at the bottom. We're gonna accomplish that using a flex box in our CSS. And with that, let's get started. All right, welcome back. Once again, my name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes, and this channel is all about teaching you good web design usability through coding. If you're loving this video, which has already been about two minutes long, but if you've seen other videos as well, uh, and you think this is a great channel, please subscribe. I love to grow the audience. And also don't forget to leave a comment on if this tutorial has helped you out or not. So we are going to work in the Gatsby default sort of area. And if you haven't used Gatsby before, you should use Gatsby. And here's the hi people. Here's our spaceman. My friend named him Jeff. So in future videos, you might be hearing this guy be called Jeff. Uh, it's just the starter library. And what I want to do is I want to move this footer down here, this copyright 2020 built with Gatsby down to the very bottom. Now there are ways in the past you could do that but using a negative margin. What you would do is you would essentially say, move the footer down below the actual page and then use a negative margin to push it up. The problem with that is you had to have a fixed size where you'd say, okay, I want my footer to be 40 pixels. So my negative margin was 40 pixels. And that was good, but you kind of went against the grain by saying margin negative. It was never the best way of doing it. So I wanted to look at a better way. And one of the best ways I possibly could find was of course using Flexbox. So if we take a look at the Gatsby JS layout, I'm in the layout.js. I did do one modification. All I did in the layout was I added a custom CSS file and in my folder structure, if I can go and find it somewhere, maybe, there we go. Let's go into Gatsby demo projects and we are number 20 for the sticky footer. And in here under the source folder and CSS, I have a custom CSS file. That's the only thing I added to this project aside from, well, adding that file. And as you can see, nothing's moving in this area. Whenever I add a new CSS file as well, I always add a body tag to the CSS and then I'll say background color. I was using gold last time. The reason why I add a background color is this will tell me if my CSS is working properly or not. It's always a good idea to check to make sure that it's working. And yes, you see it here, folks. We now have a gold background and purple. So to me, I know that the CSS file works. If I type a lot of code and then I realize that nothing's working, that could mean that your CSS is not written properly, but when at least I check to make sure this is working, the body says it is. So I know that this CSS is registering to the layout and going forward. I also put the custom CSS after the layout CSS to make sure that my custom CSS is the dominant CSS file. So when it comes to Flexbox, what we have to do is we have to declare an actual box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say flex this box. I wrote this last time on a project of mine and I was like, you know what, it's not the best name, but then I was kind of laughing because it just, it, I wanna flex this box. So it turned out to be, that's the way I named it. So I did name mine flex this box right here. And what I have to do is I have to say, you know what, the display is not gonna be inline, it's gonna be flex. We have to declare this area to be flex, not just your normal inherent or initial. From there, which direction do I wanna flex? You wanna say flex my muscle, but that's not the right way of saying. So flex direction, I'm gonna say column. And the last one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say min height, I'm gonna say 100 VH. Now, what does VH mean? That's vertical height. Essentially saying that that number right there equates to whatever the height of my browser window is. So if I'm right here, this is 100 vertical height. So you're essentially saying make this box be the entire size 
of the screen. That's all it says. So you first have to declare this box. The second thing I want to do is I have to look at how Gatsby is laid out. So what I'm thinking about is I need a three column setup. So if I think about the sticky footer, I've got the header at the very top, kind of hanging out, chilling at the very top. I have the main because that's what Gatsby uses by default. I use all the time my products that there's a header, there's a main, and there's a footer. There's also this inline style, which we're gonna get rid of because I just wanna focus on bare bones. Header, main, and footer. And what the flex column does is say, you know what, make all three columns fit to that size of 100 VH. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, make the center column automatically sized to fill the space to keep the header up top and the footer down below. So we have to write one more piece of code in our CSS, and that's what we have to say is main. The main tag is applied because the main tag is right here. If you wanna go ahead and name it something else, that's fine, but my rule in coding is less code equals results. If I have to write less tags, less classes, all the better, and the main tag is already there for us to use. I'm just gonna add my curly brackets and say flex one, zero, and auto. So if I save this, good, it's still saved. I'm also keeping my iTerm2 running the background. So success, rebuilding development bundle. So let's take a look and add this flex, this box to this project. Under layout, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna keep the header, but I wanna get rid of this div. If I get rid of div number one, I have to get rid of close div. And in the interest of making this all nice and clean, we should save this and take a look. Cool. All we did was, and let's pull this down here as well, we actually can see this footer actually working. I just took off the styling when it came to the orientation of the layout. It doesn't bother me how it looks for right now because I'm focused on one thing and one thing only. That's the footer. So what I have to do is I have to wrap in the flex this box around all three columns. So let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is after the header, I can say div class name and flex this box. And then taking the close div, I'm gonna move it down here. Now the important part is that you have three different divs that represent three different columns, header, main, and footer. Now if I save this, watch what happens. Ooh, there it goes. Notice what happened. Our 2020 hit the bottom of the page. That's because we said auto size the middle column. So if I move this up and down, notice that 2020 built with Gatsby, there we go. Now it disappears because it then kicks into the bottom part. So if you have a lot of content, that footer is gonna stay at the bottom. But if you don't have a lot of content, if I keep moving this down and down and down and down, notice how 2020 built with Gatsby sits at the bottom of the screen. And that's how you can create a sticky footer. Now, if we wanted to go a little bit farther, we could say, you know what? Let's say footer background color. Let's just make sure it is hitting the bottom of the page. And stick with our gold. So let's double check to make sure that that is at the very bottom of the page. And it is. So you can design however you want. And the best part about it is because we haven't had a fixed size in the past, you'd have to say, okay, footer equals height equals this. I can say min height and say, you know what? What if I wanna make this 50 pixels? Notice how it moves up. That's how you can combine the 100 VH, essentially saying 100% of the height, and the footer can be min height of 50 pixels. And that's how you can create a sticky footer at the very bottom of your web design using flex with, I call it flex this box. I hope to see a lot of pages in the future that way, and main. And also if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear a comment. Have you tried the sticky footer before? Have you had results? 
with the sticky be footer before. If you have, throw a comment. If you've loved this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you've also loved this video, maybe a couple others you've seen, go ahead and subscribe as I'm loving to see the subscriber base build so I can see this whole channel grow to a successful channel. Once again, my name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.